seeds that God plants in our lives. Number one, of course, the most important is what? The seed of the word. Can you read Isaiah 5, please, for me? Doesn't that just give you an assurance that every time you hear the word, it's planted. Every time you speak the word, it's planted. No? Every time you come to church to listen to the preaching, it's planted. So, it said, it shall not return to me void. Hindi lang waste of time. But it shall accomplish what I please. That's God talking. And it shall prosper in the thing for which I sent it. To me, that is such an assuring thing. That's why when I'm going through hard times, I still come to church. Because when I hear that word, and it's planted, and the gardener is gone, do you think God will fail? No? Sometimes, we cannot see it. We feel like a failure. We feel like, how come I can't get it? I keep making the same mistake. And then you keep hearing the word. And as long as you allow God to sow it, it shall accomplish its desire. It may not happen tomorrow. Have you seen a mango tree? When you plant the seed, will it grow tomorrow? Diba? And we can't also keep just, you know, undigging it to see is it growing. It's just there. So it's been planted, it's been sown. <laughs> Sorry. So, once it's sown, okay, God, this came from God. It shall not return to me void, but it shall accomplish what I please. And it shall prosper in the thing for which I sent it. So what are the seeds? The seed of his love. Whew. If you want to be filled with the fullness of God or the fullness of problems. <laughs> diba? So that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. Then you, that's you and I, being rooted and grounded in love, may have power. So biblical talaga yung kantang, the power of your love. No? You will be together with all the saints. You will be able to understand the length, the width, the height, the depth of his love, and to know the love of Christ. Whew that surpasses knowledge be filled with all the fullness of God. Another seed that he puts is the indwelling of the Spirit. When you receive Jesus, the Spirit of God came and your spirit man became activated. So if before you receive Christ, when you read the Bible, you feel sleepy, you don't understand. When you see Christ, you're alive in the Spirit. That's why right. it's Spirit to Spirit. Yesterday I was handling a um, Bible study online with some unbelievers. And so I asked them if they wanted to receive Jesus, the person. I told them it's not a religion. But would you like to have a relationship? And they all raise their hands. They pray the sinner's prayer. So there was about four of them. So I asked the people, invited them, asked them immediately after the Bible study how they felt. And the general response is, I felt peace. Uh, Salaman, I sensed that someone was standing beside me when I was praying. No? So, words, you might say, words lang naman yun. But when you really sincerely desire to know Christ, a miracle happens. And God plants in the Spirit of God. And then you begin to recognize the voice of God. Isn't that wonderful? So, can you read 1 Corinthians 6.19 please? You are not your own. No, you are not your own. So what other seeds? The seeds of the gifts. 
James 1 17 can you read it whatever is good and perfect comes down to us from God our Father who created all the lights in the heavens God gives good gifts to men and you say Ako lang yata yung walang gift. You might think that kasi you don't sing and dance. But there are many kinds of gifts. There's the gift of mercy. There's the gift of compassion. There's the gift of generosity. There's the gift of helps. There's many gifts. There's the gift of accounting. Kala natin, yung nagbibigay gift yun. Kala natin, pag may matubon yun lang may gift, not necessary. You can be a very forgiving person, that is a gift. Amen? So are you beginning to see, I'm talking like this, so that, ay, oo nga pala, matulunin naman pala ako. <laughs> gift pala yun, or I easily forgive. Okay? And he's the one who gives that. He puts it, these are seeds. And when he came into our lives, he brought all of that with him. And of course, the seed of faith. So God has a portion to each, a degree of faith, and a purpose designed for service. Now, you might say, Asura, palang galito na tayo na yung garden ng buhay ko. Gulo. Maybe your life is like that right now. You see that second picture, there's no fruit. It's um, muddy. And then, the picture with the cactus naman. The plants are over the, it's shrubs. It's thorny. And maybe for some of us, you feel, that's like me. No? So, this is something I learned. Whatever you hold on to yourself, you will have to maintain. Do you believe that? Ako bahala sa buhay ko. I decide where my money goes. I decide everything. But whatever you put in God's hands, He causes it to what? To grow. Are we in the same place?